easy daily habits that is going to melt your fats and make you lean. And no, we are not talking about exercise or walking. Of course, we can't undermine the importance of exercise and walking. It's very essential for melting our fats and for our overall health and longevity. But today I'm going to specifically talk about those certain small habits that you can change in your daily lifestyle that is going to make your body a fat melting machine and is going to overall give you a lean outlook and also a very healthy body. Hello, my beautiful sisters. I hope you are doing well. Uh, as you guys know, this channel is all about beauty. My name is Shilpa Raidas. I'm 36 years of age. And here on this channel, we have videos on beauty manifestations. We have videos on skincare, diet and nutrition for beauty and personality development for beauty. I don't believe that our body fats, our body weight define our beauty, that we are beautiful or not. Beauty is defined by many things altogether, but it is our prime duty and responsibility as human beings and as delicate, beautiful females that we should take care of ourselves. That includes the right diet and right nutrition to maintain a balanced body weight. Now, weight loss has been very commercialized and there is a new fat, there is a new diet, there is a new workout and there are so many things that people are doing to reduce their body weight. However, if you understand the science behind how your body weight increases, how your body accumulates fat and why this happens and if you can reverse that whole process, then automatically you know for a lifetime that this is the reason why my body gains weight. This is the reason why time to time this happens. And this is how I can change the cycle of me gaining or losing weight altogether. And that is exactly the path at which I'm going to go today. Today, I'm going to tell you, first of all, the science behind how our body stores fat, why our body stores fat in the first place, then we are going to go to those daily habits that is going to reverse that process nowadays there is too much of some things and too less of some things like movement is very less stress is a lot more exercise is very less nutrients are less and when it comes to health our body uh, is uh, always trying to uh, keep us balanced okay what our body uh, primarily is doing is trying to keep us balanced trying to keep us alive if supposedly there is too less or too excess of something, then our body goes in the survival mode. Our body thinks that something is wrong uh, in the exterior or the exposure of your body and your body is trying to help their best to survive that certain situation. You might be enjoying your two packet of chips and your entire Coke bottle but your body inside is thinking that this is not a good, good situation and it needs to survive out of it. So it does what it does to make it survive. Now, how does it survive? See, if supposedly there is excess of toxins in your body, excess of hormones in your body, which includes your sex hormones, if, there's, if there is excessive of insulin in your body or glucose in your body, then your body goes in the survival mode because that is not the natural state of that body okay now all that excess fat comes okay all the synthesis of those excess toxins comes into your body where does that uh, body store those fats and those those toxins now your body does not supply those fats or toxins into your organs okay if that happens then you automatically diminish you know uh, you know get unhealthier slowly and slowly and gradually so your body in order to balance uh, the body and survive it converts those toxins and it converts those excessive glucose into fats and it stores it in your you know your arms your back your thighs whatever your stomach whatever okay wherever you are fat <laughs> And the same way, if some things are less in your body, then also your body goes in the survival mode and in the fat storage mode because it wants to balance the overall health of your body. And the lesser things can include movement, sleep, nutrients and vitamins. Okay, so overall, the consumption, the movements, your lifestyle habits, if some things are more and some things are less, then your body is going to go in the survival mode and your body is going to go into storage of fats mode. Okay. Now, 
how do we reverse this situation we can reverse the situations by talking or by bringing about small changes in our lifestyle that will overall make your body healthier in other words we are trying to balance your body we are trying your body to come out from the survival mode and just get into its normal happy state mode okay that's what we are trying to get out of this video so now that you understood why in the first place our body stores fats let's get on to those habits that is going to reverse that process and is going to start melting your fats and making you lean first of all i'm going to talk about a very important vitamin the lack of which is going to give you extreme fats and 90 percent of the crowd out there does not know about this that this could be one of the major reasons they are gaining weight and not knowing this can just make them not lose that weight forever okay that is the lack of vitamin d we have discussed in a lot of our other videos that vitamin d is very essential for your skin health for your overall functionality of your body your organs for your hair and everything else altogether but fat loss is also one of them if supposedly your body is not having sufficient vitamin d that is at a level of 70 and above then you are going to start building fats in your body and that is a body's mechanism of protecting yourself if you are going to go into extreme conditions the body is imagining that your, uh, you know the body is actually thinking that you are in a survival mode because something is lacking so to survive that stress to survive that lack your body is creating fats to protect you okay so vitamin d is essential in short and you have to consume every single day and you have to be exposed to the sun to create that vitamin d in you now vitamin d if supposedly you want to take it from the direct exposure of the sun okay i would recommend to you please don't use your afternoons to go out in the sun try to do it in the early morning hours and your body needs to be exposed to the sun with its naked exposure which means there should be no sunscreen on your body at that time now i would not at all recommend this for the face like i wouldn't do it myself but if you're doing it that's good for you but if supposedly you still want to do it i would say that leave your arms without any sunscreen when you're going out that's like a bit better the reason is that when the rays enter your body they synthesize with the melanin of your body and that creates the vitamin d but if your sunscreen is protecting your skin then the rays are not going to really enter and synthesize with the melanin that's the logic behind this okay otherwise you can also supplement uh, your vitamin d 1000 iu is ideally recommended for your daily intake of vitamin d or as per your doctor recommends this is just a general knowledge i'm giving you in my knowledge vitamin d cannot be over consumed you can also take up to 10000 i use every single day and that is absolutely fine but that's just what i believe and what i also have been doing but 1000 i u will be apt if you want to start off with your vitamin d but please start taking the sun's exposure for 10 to 20 minutes every single day and please start taking your vitamin d supplements it is a very very small investment for a lifelong of good health and beauty so start right away my beautiful sisters now we are going to discuss how excessive of something and especially in female bodies okay can cause your body to start storing fats and i'm talking about hormones out here excessive of a few hormones can make a female body uh, gain weight incredibly and start storing fats uh, insulin cortisol and estrogens is the major ones that we are going to discuss okay insulin very simple when you intake food then your body starts creating insulin in order to digest that food an excessive of insulin is going to cause you to have excess of sugar levels in your body sugar spike and ultimately it is going to start giving you fat storage in your body see girls uh, it's not easy to just let go of sugar right now we have sugar in processed food we have in packed foods we have in all the varieties of foods available and we as the generation kids that we are right now we are we have grown up having a lot of sugar in our meals and a lot of sugar in our junk but this is the change that will is going to make you fitter is going to make you look leaner and is going to make you much more beautiful so you mentally get strong and adapt to that change when it comes to sugar i will not tell you that there are this techniques and that techniques techniques will only come if your mind is strong this is my personal experience i used to learn the 10000 techniques but when i just decided one fine day when i was fed up and i wanted to lose weight and become leaner 
I just made my mind strong from that day and there was no looking back. Okay, you have to make your mind very strong. Start off with alternate days. If you take something sweet every single day, move to alternate days, then keep a gap of two days. Slowly, slowly, your body will start getting habituated. It will be easy for you to cut down on sugar. Look at videos. You know, go online and do uh, your research that what all packed foods have more sugar, what all foods that you consume, what all sauces and toppings you consume have a lot of sugar in it. Stop taking that. Okay. And you have to cut down on your excessive carbs, the processed carbs that comes with a lot of soda, a lot of, uh, you know, preservatives that comes with a lot of junk. Okay, that food that we take from outside that has got these processed carbs is the main reason why people are getting all kinds of diseases and all kinds of illnesses. Okay, and that also is the reason why people are getting a lot of diabetes as well around even in our country, the rate of diabetes like we have become the major country now with uh, diabetes. And that is a very alarm that is a very big, uh, you know, red alert for us. All the more we have to work on how not to have processed food and uh, packed food. If you are taking food from outside, make it a point that you take from uh, resources that you can trust. Okay, so one is cutting down on sugar and cutting down on processed carbs. That is highly, highly going to reduce the insulin levels in your body. Secondly, cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. Whenever you are stressed, your cortisol increases. And that is when your body goes into the storage mode, uh, protecting yourself again, you know, keep trying to keep your balance. And that is how your body starts storing fats in its body. Okay. Now, cortisol is also high when we are awake in the morning. So for the reduction of cortisol, there is no one method maths, but you have to bring change to your overall lifestyle because we are talking about stress here and stress can come into our life with many, many things. I would say as an elder sister, start making your life easy and refine your life. If you have done the things that you need to do, you will not be stressed. Try to be on time. Try to be organized. Try to accomplish your goals on time so that you don't get the last moment stress. Try to remove toxic people away from your life. Try to have your mornings peaceful and slow, which means that the rest of your day should be very productive and organized so that mornings you can give to yourself as peaceful and slow and productive by yourself mornings. All these practices is going to bring your cortisol level down and is not going to bring your cortisol level down for just a day or two. This is going to be a habitual pattern in your life. And your body is also going to learn this habitual peaceful pattern and automatically your cortisol level is going to be down. And when your cortisol level is down, automatically you start losing tremendous weight. Comes from a girl with experience of high cortisol. And finally, I have balanced it out and I know for sure that it is not going to come that pattern back in my life because I learned it in depth and adapted it in my life. And the third hormone that in excess stores fats in your body is your sex hormone. And that I mean estrogens and progestins. Now, these hormones are responsible for all your uh, sex organs by the development of your breasts, your ovaries and, you know, your reproductive organs. Now, estrogens, they rise and they fall according to the phase that we are at. Let's say in the time when you are, uh, you know, coming into adulthood, the time when you are uh, in your hitting your puberty or the time that you are getting pregnant, that time your estrogens level rise very high but that is a thing that your body is supposed to do and other times your estrogen levels are supposed to be balanced and moderate and that also your body is supposed to do but when your estrogen levels are not supposed to be high if it grows high that becomes a problem that is when your body will start accumulating fats and that is when you have got all other kinds of issues like hair fall and hair growth in your face and overall body so females face all these kind of issues when our hormones are not balanced and our sex hormones is very very essential for that how are you supposed to balance your estrogen there are many ways and one video is not enough to talk about estrogens and how to balance your sex hormones but in very brief if i tell you then your food intake should have high quality protein and fats in it women they need their protein and they need their fats and i don't mean fats as in the animal fat i'm talking about the healthy fats like olive oils avocados nuts 
you know these kinds okay mm -hmm. so high quality protein and high quality fats should be a part of your daily diet secondly you should reduce your dairy intake or you should completely eradicate your dairy intake now it's not the time when animals were you know fed very good uh, nutritious uh, diet in their farms and they give a pure bread um, you know milk okay uh, they are also ingesting a lot of hormones so that they become you know they grow faster and they produce a lot of milk because it is commercialized and that will give us those hormones in our diet now that hormones if it comes to our body through the milk then our own hormone levels it breaks and it spoils okay if supposedly you are someone whose estrogen levels are way too high then just eradicate the dairy and it is going to bring a big change to your body and third you should cut down on your sugar and your carbs and moreover your processed carb as we discussed earlier for the insulin part because that is what imbalances your hormone and your body goes into a fat storage mode we just discussed something in excess will make your body store fats in its body and now we are going to discuss something which if less then your body is going to start storing fats in its body and that is water yes water has a very very high importance even in the journey of fat loss if supposedly you are dehydrated your body will start accumulating toxins your body is not going to process really well your body is always going to be in the survival mode because it needs to extract water from organs from its skin and therefore all the functionalities of your body spoil including your body will start storing fats and that is how your body is thinking that it is balancing and keeping you healthy and keeping you in a survival mode okay the simple solution to this is that you need to have water enough water every single day you need to not be dehydrated be it you are living in a cold place be it you are living in a hot place but 3 to 4 liters of water i will recommend you is the apt optimum water intake you should have on a daily basis and this is not only going to affect your body fats being redu reduced but is also going to give you very good skin and very good hair overall if you are not dehydrated it is going to make you beautiful in all possible levels if you noticed or if you have known this then if you are joining a gym or if you are starting a workout regime taking 3 to 4 liters of water every day they be, they make it a mandate process simply because it is directly connected to your body start melting its fats okay not being in a fat storage mode secondly you need to start taking a full glass of water before all your meals and uh, when we are taking a full glass of water before our meal the concept of this is that we are kind of manipulating our hunger hormones our body will start thinking that it's already full even after taking a lesser amount of food okay make it a point that your food is nutritious your food is good food the quality of the food matters not the quantity okay so when you are taking a decent amount of that uh, food which is nutritious but is less in quantity okay your body will start thinking that okay i am already full i don't need to eat more now this makes your eating less journey very very easy because you don't have to fight your urge you don't have to fight your body you don't have to fight your hormones to eat less food because by taking that full glass of water we have already manipulated our hunger hormones that we are full okay so uh, conclusion you need to take 3 to 4 liters of water every single day to make your body in the fat loss mode and secondly you need to take a full glass of water before all your meals so that you can work with your hunger hormones nicely and you can have lesser food and automatically this is going to make you lose decent weight in a good amount of time now the fourth point we are going to discuss is something that if balanced basically dictates our entire term our entire life term within 24 hours and that is our circadian rhythm our circadian rhythm is responsible for the well-being and the health of lot of uh, phases and lot of things in our life okay that includes our health and also includes us gaining or losing our body fats for those of you who don't know what is circadian rhythm circadian rhythm is basically uh, what one experiences in their physical or mental or behavioral expressions within 24 hours circadian rhythm basically is controlled by uh, what time we sleep what time we get up what time we eat 
what is our social environment what is our physical environment what temperatures we are at and around what is our mental environment okay and the right pace and the right atmosphere of all of these will basically make our circadian rhythm healthy and if it's not at the right pace and at the right rhythm then that means that our circadian rhythm is not balanced to make it balanced you just need to do very simple things like you need to get up and you need to sleep on time you need to eat your food on time you need to not eat your food at the wrong hours like they say that midnight um food is not good for our body right we should take uh, at the time of sunrise and we should take our last meal around sunset or you know if not too much at this era then at least by 7 8 max like that and you should sleep on time you should get up on time you should see that you are around the right temperatures uh, being in too hot temperatures or being around too cold temperatures for an exposed amount of time is not good for you give your body movement okay only having a sedentary lifestyle or only having a lifestyle where you keep keep on moving that is also not good you need to have a balance so circadian rhythm means everything in balance your sleeping time your eating time the temperatures around what you're at also includes your mental health so if you are overly stressed if you are overly unhappy that is also not good that will increase your cortisol levels automatically making you gain fats in your body right so what you need to do you need to remove the toxic people from your life you need to make your life routines good so that you are in a mental happy stress free state. date okay and all of this is going to balance your circadian rhythm now for a lot of my sisters who work late nights or who work in the evenings i understand that you cannot suddenly change your career just to balance your circadian rhythm so you make it a point that you can balance other things okay uh, your food timings your workouts your body movements the people around you your social environments your temperatures if you try to maintain all of this then maybe a lack of one thing in the whole rhythm could be adjusted but try to make it a point that if supposedly there are 10 phases then at least try to win eight phases seven to eight phases so that you are on the positive side of your circadian rhythm okay and once your circadian rhythm is balanced then automatically you are going to go in a fat loss mode your body is going to start melting its fats and automatically you are going to get leaner and you are going to get more healthier and the fifth and one of my favorites that i have mentioned in a lot of my videos is you should start intermittent fasting if not on a daily basis but on a regular basis okay this routine and this practice is going to change your life entirely if supposedly you start intermittent fasting my beautiful sisters then all the points that we just discussed the 1 2 3 4 that is going to happen with intermittent fasting so intermittent fasting can be your all in one solution to be honest because it balances our hormones it starts melting our fats it lessens our uh, sugar cravings our carbs cravings it uh, starts producing the right hormones and reducing the wrong hormones for you okay it does it balances your circadian rhythm okay uh yeah vitamin d is something that you should have to do for vitamin d but apart from that everything else can be managed with intermittent fasting okay so intermittent fasting please don't start with it in a in a grand way right away you need to be habituated to it like i say don't just look at one video and just start some practice you have to learn the maths and science of it deeply then only you should do it because it is about your body it is regarding your health you cannot take it for granted okay firstly you can start with 12 hours fasting example then you can extend your fasting time to uh, 16 hours then you can extend your fasting time to 18 hours but make it slow don't just go one day after the other like i told you there's a maths and science of it you have to learn completely and intermittent fasting means you are not supposed to eat anything at all in between just just water and if supposedly you have a dire need then black tea or coffee but that's it and that too without sugar when you do intermittent fasting after around 12 hours of fasting your growth hormone starts increasing that benefits your health that uh, you know starts making you lose your body fats uh, then uh, again around 15 uh, 16 17 hours hours your body goes into the ketosis mode that is when your body starts actually you know using its own stored fats for fuel earlier it was using the sugar the fats you know earlier it was using the nutrients that you were providing with the food but now since there was no food for a very long time like 15 hours 17 hours your body will start thinking what am i supposed to do now for survival okay i have a lot of store fat stores let me start using that as my fuel 
that is when the fat burning mode starts and overall above 16 hours 18 hours you go in the autophagy mode that is when your body starts eating its bad cells and your unhealthy bad cells cancerous cells tumorous cells all the bad cells that is just living in your body and eating the nutrients from your body will just be eaten by your own body itself and you'll be left with healthy cells it is the most beautiful process that can happen for you your growth hormone your ketosis your autophagy uh, your skin gets better your hair gets better you start losing all the freaking bad weight from your body and what also when you start intermittent fasting you have a refreshed energy in you uh, your energy mode stays higher throughout the day and overall it is going to also give you longevity your life is going to be long people who follow intermittent fasting in their life uh, they tend to have a longer lifespan than the people who don't intermittent fast of course we have discussed uh, you know uh, glycation earlier uh, every time you eat your body goes into glycation that is when you are cooked okay and uh, every time you are cooked you get cooked you get cooked until you are over okay so the lesser you eat the lesser glycated you get if that's if there's a term that's let's just call it that and uh, you uh, tend to stay more younger and you tend to stay more fitter and you tend to stay you know longer and of course beauty cannot be excluded from this freaking topic because it makes you beautiful now people who have got you know you please go online and see there's a timeline of people who after intermittent fasting have grown younger and uh, better uh, my face also has got much more chiseled and much more distinct than my face earlier because of intermittent fasting and i really really give it the credit for it i'm a fan okay i'm a fan yeah so the conclusion is that uh, body fat has a reason and if you understand the reason and the science behind it you can automatically reverse that process in a healthy way so that you can balance your weight and you can be leaner and yes uh, just to put it out there if you add it with workouts if you add it with a lot of walking every day like at least 30 minutes of walking every day and also strength training twice a week or four times a week then it is going to bring a tremendous tremendous change to your body and make you melt fats in a more faster pace but if you just do these uh, five uh, lifestyle habits that i told you today then your body is still going to be programmed to be in a fat melting mode for your lifetime okay uh, first the rigorous efforts of these lifestyle habits is going to make your body habituated to your new lifestyle to the new trend your body is going to follow now and then your body is going to be subconsciously programmed in that way that okay i am living in a fat burning mode i am my body is i am supposed to be burning fat i am supposed to have more healthier choices i don't need to store the fats because i am living in a safe and healthy and a peaceful and a stress-free environment that is the message you are trying to give your body that you don't need to stress dude i am going to give you that comfort and i am going to give you that healthy environment for you to be at peace with so that you don't have to store fats to keep me protected and balanced because i am going to take the initiative to balance my life myself this is the magic of burning your freaking fats my beautiful sisters let's start from today show me that awesome beautiful self that you are going to make of yourself after you're going to follow these beautiful lifestyle habits that are going to stay with you for a lifetime okay all the very best you are already the most beautiful girl in the world don't forget that i am the most beautiful girl in the world affirm this every single day and follow all these things lifestyle choices good habits knowledge so that you are going to be more beautiful and more gorgeous with time beauty is a science when done the right way it will nobody can stop you from being the most beautiful girl in the world remember that my beautiful sisters and of course i hope you have subscribed to the channel by now if you like this video do give me a like as well you have any specific topics to discuss give me in the comments and let's discuss it together i'll try to bring the best knowledge of the topic for you in the video okay and thank you so much for your time i love you take care of yourself and i love you Bye-bye.